This video will cover the topic, finding x and y-intercepts given a polynomial function. Before we get started, let's quickly review the definition of x and y-intercepts. An x-intercept is a point where the graph of the function intersects the x-axis. In other words, possible values of x when y or f of x equals zero. A y-intercept is a point where the graph of the function intersects the y-axis. In other words, values of y when x is equal to zero. Okay, so how do we find the x and y-intercepts of a polynomial then? Well, let's work through an example together. Find all y-intercepts and x-intercepts of the graph of the function f of x is equal to 3x cubed minus 12x squared minus 15x. So to find the y-intercept, do we let x equal zero? Exactly. So what is the y-intercept going to be if we let x equal zero? Is it going to be zero? Yeah, good job. So now we find the x-intercepts, right? Yes. In order to do this, we are going to need to factor the polynomial. If we factor out 3x, this results in 3x times x squared minus 4x minus 5. However, if we factor even further, we get 3x times x minus 5 times x plus 1. In order to find the x-intercepts, we let f of x be 0 and then solve for x. This means either 3x is equal to 0, x minus 5 is equal to 0, or x plus 1 is equal to zero. If we solve for x when 3x is equal to zero, we get that x is equal to zero. If we solve for x when x minus five is equal to zero, we get that x is equal to positive five. And if we solve for x when x plus one is equal to zero, we get that x is equal to negative one. So our x-intercepts are five, zero, and negative one, and our y-intercept is zero. Let me make sure I understand the process correctly. In order to find the y-intercepts, we let x equal zero and then solve for y. And to find the x-intercepts, we let y equal zero and solve for x. Yes, this is exactly how it's done. Good job. 